let's move on to our boy Jude Bellingham. We've been linked with Jude Bellingham for like a year now, bro. Another Dortmund player we're linked with. Jude Bellingham is going to be worth a crap ton of money. All right, and let me just let me just pull up this article here. It's the Mail Online. All right, I'm not saying it's great, but hey, this is the article. Okay, after Man City signed Calvin Phillips. Okay, kind of knew that deal was going to go through. All right, because Man City are always buying players. Liverpool reportedly believe they're in the leading race to sign Jude Bellingham. And I would agree. I'd say Man United are probably going to try their hand at that. But with Man City out of the picture, with Calvin Phillips, are Liverpool likely to splash $80 million or whatever it is? What do you think, Steve? <clears throat> yes, I do. I think a year from now, a lot can change. I'm not going to say, oh. Bellingham next summer. I'm so excited. Like, we have potentially another 65. No, heck no. We have another 75 matches to get through until that point. Now, if they did something like sign a year in advance, like they did with Kata, yeah. Well, then that's something to look forward to. But, like, how many times have we been linked with players and then it just dies off? Oh, right? So many. <clears throat> So many. So that's not to say that this isn't exciting. This is exciting because Romano has even mentioned, we're in for this guy. We'll be there when the time comes. Um, 80 million, if you think about it, he's so young, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad when you think about his age. Is he worth that? the, The fact that you said he's so young, right? The fact that you said he's so young. Does it invalidate the price tag? Because the kids, he played for Birmingham City, Dortmund. Yes, he's been great at Dortmund, but how does that? How is that going to translate over? I mean, when you splash that much cash on a player, it just makes me nervous, dude. Nunez yeah, is different. No, for and the sure. reason I say Nunez is different is because we saw what Nunez could do, not only against us. But he was he was in a short period of time with Benfica. He was very, 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 very productive. Now, Bellingham has been quality for Dortmund. That's not what I'm saying. I just get nervous with the age. 18 years old. I get what you mean, especially when you think about like Klopp. Like he's not gonna be here for another 10 years. Like that would be great, but like he's not. So I feel like Klopp is more so leaning towards players that can help us win now while he's here. He, don't get me wrong. Like he also wants to set the club up for, for success in the future. That, but eighteen yeah. is young. He did play thirty-two matches in the Bundesliga this year and twenty-nine last year. So he has plenty of game time under his belt. That's and probably more than Jones, Harvey Elliott. You know, three goals, <clears> eight <throat> assists from midfield. It's pretty solid. Two goals in the Europa League, another yeah. assist. So that's what five and nine. Two goals in the Pokal, so it's seven and nine. Champions League, I mean, solid numbers. He had about 10 and 10, or 11 and 10 in all comps this year. From midfield. Right, so that's what's promising. Of course, the age, he's not going to need massive, massive wages. Contrary to what people may think, he is still 18. Yeah. So he's not going to come in and need 400 mil, or 400K. 400 mil. Um, Legend. 400 mil a week. <laughs> so Birmingham City, or actually, if, if Dortmund sell him, will get 5% of the value. All right. Listen to this. Youngest ever player to feature for Birmingham City at 16 years old. Youngest player to score for Birmingham. <clears throat> Birmingham City to Dortmund set a world record transfer fee for a 17-year-old. Wow. they re- Birmingham City retired the number 2020. Mm-hmm. This is all crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. He he actually has made some comments about that. And he was like, um, I don't know if that's necessary, but like, thanks. It's like he's been asked about it a bunch of times. He's had like different differing opinions, but shout out to Dortmund for that bit of business. Twenty seven point yeah. five mil, and they that's... are going to rake off him. They yeah. are insanely clever in the market, dude. Twenty seven point five. It's impressive what they do. It's impressive what they do. Yeah, no, it is. It Ajax, is. They, they have a, they have Perugia, a good Dorman. model. Dude, it's bullet. It's a bulletproof model. Yep. Sancho, Obama, Yang, Holland, Bellingham. It's just constant. It never stops. 
Yeah, they're, they're just always pushing out huge fees. He missed one game this season. Wow. Where are you this looking at? This is transfer mark. Okay. Oh, oh competitions. Yeah. So you go to competitions. Got it. Okay. Wow. This is phenomenal, guys. So knee problem. So knock last year obviously doesn't count. Uh, right in the middle of the season, December, missed some time into January. That's like during the transfer. Like, yeah, knee problem this year. One game missed. Probably a sore knee. Like, He's there's no damage. Three games. Three games. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. But he's all, Steve, he's also 18 years old, bro. You can't be missing games at 18. Um, You can't be missing games dude, at 18. You play, look, here's the thing. You can because you play a lot. And yet while your body is technically supposed to be able to handle the wear and tear of a season at a younger age, it's still a professional sport playing with grown men. Like, look at Elliot. Like, Elliot's not injury prone, but that's going to be an asterisk on his career forever. Yeah. It's just, a, it's, it's, it's really impressive to see that. Like, that is unreal that he's missed almost no time. And then, not to mention, the amount of appearances he had. So it's not like he was riding the bench. Like, if you see Minamino miss, like, six days in a season, that's fine. This doesn't play that much. Or even right. box, right? Right. Like, how many appearances did Bellingham have? Let's let's take a look. I'm on transfer marked. It was in the Bundesliga, it was 32. I know. I got it here. If you. I got you. Pull it up here. Make sure you guys slap a like. On this 50. video, if you're enjoying the stream, and make sure you share it. Subscribe if you're new. Oh, here it says 31. But, Five, um, zero. 50 appearances in all comps this year. Well, wow, 50. 50 appearances. That's pretty, that's pretty <laughs> awesome. How insane is that? This, this guy, he's good, bro. He's Dude, good. two appearances in the Europa League, two goals and an assist in two matches in the Europa League. 14 assists, six goals, 42. See this dude, this is it says 43 appearances. It probably doesn't have some of the um see that is I believe just for Dortmund. I got English up England over here too. Oh, okay. Gotcha. UEFA Nations League, uh the Euros and International Friendly. Yeah, it okay. So you're, for, you're, okay, you're adding that to it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I mean, because it counts to me. It's it's the season. Yeah, yeah. True. He's Which solid, is incredible. Dude. Fifty matches played. Nine What's goals, it? ten assists. What are people in the chat here saying? We got Ross Bauer saying he's a uh, generational talent. <clears throat> Searing only change with getting Bellingham is if he doesn't want to pay raise because no way FSG are paying a high weekly wage. Well, this is what Steve was talking about earlier in the show. We don't necessarily have to. Kid's 18 years old. You know, you can give an 18-year-old a reasonable wage to start out with. I, I can almost guarantee you we'd, get, we'd, give, we'd start him out at like 80 to 100K if we got him if he was under 20 years old. There's no way that Liverpool would give him more than that. Now, if we had to, to, beat, to get his signature, we, we, we wouldn't hesitate to give him like 125. But I really don't think we'd start out giving Bellingham more than what James Milner, Hendo, any of those players are making. There's just there's no way we would do it. 